Welcome back, everybody. I am Renovate, and today, guys, we are recording a Full Craft 2, a pack made by Iskel and some of his friends. We are also playing on the Voxel Squad server, sponsored by Sticky Pistons. Man, that was a lot to get through, wasn't it? Man, what an intro. So many people, and I didn't even get credit for anything. All right, so what are we doing today, guys? I have no idea. Last episode, we worked on cows and uh, cow power. Let's go down and check out our cow power. Check out this. We got double the cow power. <laughs> so I went out and found two more cows. Um, the um, Naptha, I think is what it was called. And how are we looking on that? 34,000. And those are completely full. I think I got these set up wrong because I thought I had these set up to go in and out. Can I click on that little piece right there? No, I can't. I wanted the excess to go into these barrels. Yeah, it's not going in there. That's okay. And I found another uh, gelid cryothium cow. And uh, they're pumping in there. So we're making power and stuff. And we got 18 million RF. We're not spending it. I also went ahead and started. I know I said we were going to do this in this episode. An ME system. Um, or AE2. But I call it ME system because that's the, the actual system. I went ahead and set up the presses. I'll, I'll explain this. I've done this probably 12 different times. I'm trying to think how many mod packs I've recorded. Um, but basically you get all the presses, right, for, for each thing. So you got the silicone, uh, which is silicone. You got the logic, which is for the gold. You got the engineering one here. It's, it uses the diamond. So if I put a diamond, I'll show you in a minute. And then this one is the calculation, and this is the pure certus quartz. And basically what happens is um, the way I have it set up, I put all the ingredients in here, and they actually get funneled. If I walk around to the back side. They actually get funneled into the individual presses, and after they get um, pressed, they get pulled out. And I have the white for the um, the white is for the silicone because every press actually needs a piece of silicone. And then each individual one is pulled out on the orange channel, and the orange channel goes in through the top, and that's where they come in here, and then they'll get pressed with a redstone. Now the redstone itself is just being pulled in on its own channel so it's gotten it's getting filtered in through the back there and so the redstone gets pulled in so that's how that works um it's pretty cool if i throw it if i throw a diamond in here real quick you'll see it get pulled out and it's going to go right here it's going to get smashed bam and then it's going to come down here it's going to get smashed it's take a little bit of time <laughs> and then it gets gets filtered out through here and gets stuck in this chest okay and uh, I've made quite a few. They're actually over here in this chest. Um, you can see I got almost a stack of each. Um, this right here is the growth accelerator for the crystals. You can make um, the pure certus, pure nether, and pure fluix crystals, I believe, in this. You just drop the seeds in here. And uh, I have five of these. Uh, I, I think I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I think these used to be able to be powered using just standard power they didn't have to be connected to any me system um but uh in this pack they have to be connected to this uh me system so i just made an energy acceptor it's pulling an energy out of here it's getting funneled down through and into this so that's the only part right now um actually that's not true <laughs> that's not true at all but this is the only part right now that's actually a functioning me system right um and it's not really doing anything so this is the only actual uh, ME, ME stuff that's actually functioning um, that you really need to do this in order to start an, 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 an applied energistic system anyways. So that's why I went in and set this up. Um, there's, there's plenty of videos on my old Ren Renovate channel that you can go watch. Um, just jump over there. Um, and I've explained this, but you, I just explained it. <laughs> so anyways, um, I did decorate a little bit more. Um, I got these cross beams up. I added some of this glowstone glowing glass, which is basically made by um, using uh, sand and glass. And then you cook it twice and then you add some glowstone to it. It's pretty cheap. Um, once again, I'm just using our materials that we have. We got sand chickens, glass chickens, and glowstone chickens. Um, so this is pretty fun. It's, it's enjoyable to make stuff. Um, with the resources you have instead of having to go mine for it and stuff. The only thing I've had to go mine for is um, uh, to begin with was diamonds and tin, I think. 
Um, but I don't really mind stuff anymore. Um, so yeah, I did the whole ceiling. Um, this was fun. I had to do it from the top. There's a layer between these two in case I need to do wires for the floor above and our, our conduits. And so I ran these across. So it's looking, looks like it's holding up the ceiling. I put these little corbels over there. I filled in all the holes. That was fun. Um, there's still a bunch of mobs on the other side of these walls, but we're, we're not going to worry about them right now. Um, that right there is a starlight liquid. Remember the cow that we had with the arrow through its head? Um, I actually, uh, milked that cow for, I don't know, I AFK'd for quite a while, um, and got enough, uh, to put some buckets down there. It lights up the room. I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of coming out of the wall. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is going to be really cool. This is going to be my... This is our, 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 I don't know what you want to call it. It's our, our, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of words. It's going to be our trophy or something. I don't know. That's going to be our idol, our idol. It's the grand chest, but we're going to do that in another episode. I think, um, I made another floor that's kind of in between the floors. There's another floor below us. This is the uh, fluid tank that I had. Um, that's still got all the starlight in it, liquid starlight. And, um, and then these are the two ME drives that I made. And you can see over here how the ME system is connected to the uh, the growth accelerators. Let me chop these down right here. All right. And then in the floor below, this is my favorite floor of all. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> these are all white anti-blocks. And what's cool is if you put a light in them, they glow. Isn't that cool? So this is kind of like, this is kind of like the room. This is the room at the bottom. Um, and then, yeah, this is going to be, this is our gargantuan chest. It's taken me so much wood to make this and I'm not even close to being done. Um, but you guys are going to enjoy this. We're going to do that in another episode. But today, guys, I think we are going to, um, go ahead and set up our ME system. I'm going to get a couple things done and then, um, either that or we're going to play place with some crops. I'm going to, why is that there? Uh, it's probably when I was pillaring up to get this, to get this, uh, this thing here. Uh, what the heck is this? I think Link left this here. What is this? A bird bath? That's cute. Thanks, Link. Um, but yeah, this is the liquid starlight. I don't think it hurts you if you jump in it. Eh? Eh? Nope. No, no, no effects or anything. Um, oh yeah, you get night vision. How about that? That's cool. You get night vision. Hmm. I have to remember that. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Um, let me show you one more thing, though. Um, this, I had to make a silicone chicken. This took quite a, quite a long time. Um, the silicone chicken is, uh, a really long process. It's longer than I was expecting, but I had to make a snow chicken. There's our snowball chicken. And I needed to make this, mix the snow with the clay or something like that. That's a clay chicken. And then what's this dude here? That's a, uh, that's a silicone chicken. So this is probably full of silicone. Nope, it's full of clay. Oh yeah, I connected this over to, to this. So this is all going into our system over there. That's good. So the only thing I'm collecting right now is clay and snowballs. Really, I've gotten rid of all the other chickens, uh, the ones that are kind of dirty. And then, um, but yeah, I have another one here, and I think, I can't remember what chicken that I was getting. I was working on. I think I'm trying to get to the blitz, or the, I don't want to say balls chicken. <laughs> But it's it's the one that makes the um, the rods. <laughs> We're talking about balls and rods. That's going to be the title of this of this. It's going to be called balls and rods. <laughs> so this is the silicone chicken, and we got quite a bit of silicone. The reason they needed silicone is because the uh, ME system, uh, the little circuits and stuff, need silicone. Um, if we go back up to the top, I mean, we aren't doing anything in this video. We'll just step talking. Uh, there is a quest line in this book. And uh, here's one of them. Let me see if we can go down here. And we did this one. So this is the uh, mystical ag agriculture. And if you get these, you get some fertilized dirt. And then if you go down to the next one and make this thing, you actually get some growth crystals. And if you do the next one, you actually get eight more growth crystals. And these growth crystals are kind of cool. Um, and that's a really cool reward. These things, I want to show you what happens when you pick these, let me get some stuff up here. I see you even have one left. Watch how quick these, these things grow. What? Boop, boop, boop. I see this. And these are Certus Quartz crystals. I actually got a seed from, um, from Link because uh, there is no Certus Quartz chickens. 
and we need lots of service quartz when we're doing um, uh, the applied energistics. So I got those. So I got uh, 14 essence. It takes uh, nine of these. So if we take these back out, let's put the let's put all this crap back up in there, and we take these and we put them like this or like that. You get six crystals out of it. So you get six for eight. That's a pretty good return, I think. So you can see I've been working. I had I didn't I didn't mine these at all. Um, I actually I've been doing that just doing this and see, they're already grown, just like that. So I, I, I played around with the, the layout of these, and don't take my word for it. This is just from what I found. If I set these around the edge, they don't grow as fast as if I stack them. Now, that could just be, uh, a th I don't want to say a graphical glitch. It could just be my imagination, or it could be actually a thing. So maybe you guys can let me know, but I think stacking them gives you a bigger return than setting them on the ground. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments if that's true. If it's not, then uh, you don't have to answer at all. I'll just sound like an idiot. So yeah, that's what I've been doing to get the Certus Quartz. It's a pretty easy way of getting it. Um, and then I went ahead and actually made my own Certus Quartz seeds um, because I, I just wanted to play with mystical agriculture. Uh, but I was thinking that we actually need to uh, come up with a way of collecting this because uh, we're going to need lots of Certus Quartz, guys. We're going to need lots of Certus Quartz. And I don't feel like going and mining it all that much. I'm not a big on mining. And um, I think this is going to be the way to go. So uh, we might do uh, an episode on just setting up a farming station and stuff for this because I think I have to make an unbreakable hoe or something like that um, so that we don't have to worry about... Man, this is so fun. I don't know why it's this fun, but uh, yeah, well, I didn't mean to do that. So let's grab, let's put those in there like that, like that. So see, I got 12 already. I already got a dozen. All right, so we got all these, which is great. Um, should we keep, no, actually, let's take them upstairs. Let's take them upstairs. Let's take them upstairs and put them in that bucket. And we'll go ahead and get started on our ME system. I think we should get started on the drive, or the drives are downstairs. I think I'm wanting to put the, um, is there enough room in here? Holy crap. I I was planning on putting the whole ME system here and kind of in between the floors, but I think it would be cool to have the ME system set up down here. And um, that way all my, all my cables are going, <coughs> excuse me. I think it'd be cool to have the ME system set down here that way, all our cables are going up. Um, man, I don't, I don't really want cables going in all directions. And I think on this floor, we'll just set up a bunch of stuff like, uh, um, like um, thermal expansion, like the furnaces and the pulverizers and all that stuff on this floor. I think is what we're going to do. So I am going to, uh, let's take these right here. I actually made a Certus Quartz wrench. Where I wonder if it's upstairs. Let's go upstairs real quick. Is it in here? It's right here. Okay, cool. Is there any food anywhere? Because my guy's a little hungry. We got some rainbow curry. That sounds like sounds super yummy. Here we go. Um, my plans though was to get a uh, an ME export. And, uh, or not an export, a storage bus and put it on this thing and use this as our storage instead of this. But I think I'm just going to store eggs and stuff in this one and then we're going to store everything else in this. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can... Yep, cool. That does work on that. Okay. There's so many wrenches in this mod pack, so I want to make sure. Um, so yeah, where should we put our... Should we do this at? Let's do... Um, we got to get the energy and everything down here too. Let's set these up like, um, let's set it up like, let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. We'll run all the cables on the back side. Okay, so what do we need in order to get this to work? We need power. We need, uh, let's go to ME system, or applied energistic system, applied. So the first thing we need, we already have this energy acceptor, which is upstairs. We might need to make another one of these. And then we're going to actually need one of these energy cells. We'll probably make the top tier one. That's going to store uh, excess energy, AE energy. And then uh, it'll transfer it 
into the system. That way we're not always pulling out of our, our main power. We're actually going to also need to make a crafting terminal right here. And we're probably going to need to make a, a pattern terminal. If I remember correctly, your interface terminal? No. Yeah, interface terminal will be one, and then the uh, pattern terminal will be the other one. And if we want to change the color of these, we can. We just need the dyes. I think we have enough to make the the red ones, the blue ones. I know the green. Uh, I do have a yellow chicken, so we could make yellow. Um, and we could make the black, because I have an ink chicken. So we can pretty much make any one of these we want. The only thing that I don't have a lot of, and we're going to have to to make them is the flux crystals and the flux crystals is used is made by actually you can have a flux crystal seed that'd be cool um is by taking uh, nether quartz sand and redstone and um is that what it is uh, yeah eh, yeah that's what it is and uh you throw it into some water and is it nether quartz let's see <laughs> i don't remember nether quartz redstone and, and uh, uh certus quartz that's what it is, charge service cords. So that's why you need so much service cords. So we're going to probably, have to probably have to make a charger, and we'll put that down here too. To get the power from up here to down there, I think I'm going to make one of these uh, one of these little things from uh, RF tools. And let's do R at RF. There we go. Uh, one of these things here. Eh, where'd it go? Uh, that's not the shield. I want the power module. There it is right here. The power cell. So we'll make one of these. I have some prismarine shards. We can make that. So let me go ahead and make this, and I'll make uh, the card for it. We'll put it downstairs, and then uh, I'll get all the other stuff ready, and then uh, we'll set it up downstairs and see how it works and uh, see how much we can get done today. Be right back. All right, guys. So I want to try to get this done in like the next uh, 13 minutes or so because I got to cook some food in real life. So I went ahead and got a bunch of stuff done. Oh, wrong elevator. Let's go over here, go down to this one. Uh, oh, I went ahead and made this uh, while I was waiting for stuff to get crafted up. I went ahead and did, I think, uh, this one, this one, this one, yeah. Uh, I did the furnace and we already had the pulverizer so it gave me some ore and then we gotta make some other of this other stuff but we'll get to that later. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is we're gonna set the ME system up down here but we're actually going to complete this today, okay? And um, this is going to be our temporary storage because I want to be able to craft, auto craft some stuff uh, without having to make a bunch of the uh, little drives first. I don't want to waste my time, <laughs> basically. So I'm going to make this into our storage and I'm going to show you how that works. So let's go over here and grab in our magic chest. Here's our power and our power cell cells. These, this is going to link the power from upstairs to down here. Um, poop. I need two of these, don't I? <laughs> I need two of these. Okay, we'll make one of those. Uh, but first, let me rearrange this. I got this. This will make our dense energy cell for the um, ME system. I made a pattern terminal, a crafting terminal, a storage bus. This is an extra interface, and then a bunch of cables. And I'm gonna grab all this. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, if you go into the mod, it's actually called Colossal chests there we go like this Oop, like that and you can make these any size you want this is used to build the chest itself and then this is the actual chest core so it's kind of like the tinkers you can't it won't work until you put this on there and then this is the uh, only way you can get access to it using pipes and stuff so this is the interface and there's different tiers um, but you can actually instead of making um, uh, instead of rebuilding it you can make all these pieces and then buy this upgrade card and just click on it and it will upgrade it for you so you don't have to tear it all down. So we are going to finish this one up this episode. I thought that'd be, oh geez, don't throw them. Okay, and I counted and I needed, I think 49 more. So I think I have enough. And this is a nine by nine by nine chest. And if you're gonna, if you want to know how much it holds, I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. So um, I guess it would hold the equivalent of nine chests. I don't know. I don't know how it works. So we're going to do this. And it is not done until we knock out this block. Well, I guess so. 
and we gotta leave the inside empty, okay? And then we're gonna put the uh, the um, uh, chest core right here. Now watch. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I love it. I love it. Um, so, yeah, if you open up inside, um, let's just say we take uh, gold. Let's see how that's how far down we go. So it goes pretty far down, doesn't it? Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be quite nice. Look, this thing isn't even moving. The thing up there is not even moving. OK, so. All right. So that's going to be our colossal chest. All right. That's our. That's our monument to the storage gods inside our temple. <laughs> it's the ever-growing storage chest. And we are going to put a storage bus. Let's see. Is this good? Yeah, it does. We're going to put a storage bus. We're actually going to break this like that. Now, see, if you break it, it's going to go like this. So you just got to put one of these back on it. Boom, like that. All right, so that's a storage bus. or um, That's a, that's a, a tap for our stuff and we are going to we are I already have a hole dug down underneath I don't I already have a cavity underneath I should say so that's our storage okay so we're gonna go get our storage bus let's get this um, like so and we're gonna grab that all right and what this is gonna do it's gonna allow the ME system to use this temporarily until we get ourselves uh, a better storage system so we're gonna plop that on there and then we're going to run these cables. Doop, doop, doop. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And then we're going to run that. I forget what level that's on. That's under us. Okay. So we're going to go like this. And like this. And this and this. Let's see. I think this is correct. All right. So you can't see it. We are right here. And I think that's the... That's the one that we're right beside, which is good. I'm not quite centered, but this is this is in the center of the room. My chest is actually off centered. I apologize for that. Um, so yeah, do we want to have our interface like right here in the middle of the room? I guess that'd be okay. I guess that'd be okay. Um, let's actually have it right here in where the chest is. Um, let's actually have it right here, right there, and right there. There's a cable. Let's have it come. Um, can we get? There we go. And then up, up, up. All right, cool. So that's going to be there. We're going to grab these two things right here. And this is going to look sloppy right now, guys, but it's going to be better later, I promise. So we're going to put that there, and we're going to put that one on that side. All right, cool. So what we want to do now is we got to grab... I'm gonna put these away. We gotta grab these things. I actually need to make one more. We're gonna grab all of this. All right. Oh, um, yeah. Up. Yep, one more. Up. Okay. Let's come over here. Let's grab uh, these and go like that and go like this. Grab that. So we have one dense energy cell. All right. I do need that block though. Yes, I do need that block. Let's go get it. And then let's make that. Okay, we are good now. All right, so we're going to go back downstairs. Boop. And we are actually going to take this thing off. Uh, did I bring my wrench? No. Is my wrench in here? Yes. Excellent. All right, let's wrench this off, wrench that off, that off. I'll probably take this downstairs. And we are going to put this power cell uh, right on the side of this thing. Okay. And we are going to set this to set all sides to accept uh, energy. Um, set all sides to send energy. Um, set all sides to accept energy. Um, there, it's powering up. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to take this card. I'm going to go like that, and then I want to link this one. So, unlinked, linked. Okay, cool. So, that's going to be there, and that's draining. This is power. This is powering up really fast. It looks like we are out of fluids. So, these things have been powering up. 
So I am going to, uh, actually, let's take a look at all of them. So yeah, they're all out of power. That's fine. They'll power back up. So let's go downstairs and get this set up then. Boop. Doop. Okay, so we want to set this up. I'm okay with having it set up right behind here. I'm going to end up moving it anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this here. We're going to put this card in it, and we're going to set all sides to send energy. We're going to put the energy converter here, okay? And then we're going to put uh, the dense energy storage. Um, I guess we can put it here. And this thing should be on. So now it's showing in the terminal, and it's showing basically that chest that's behind us, okay? And this is the pattern terminal. This is if we want to make some patterns for later. So if I run up here, I should be able to click on this chest and throw a bunch of stuff in there, like so. Let's put all this in there, which would be great. <laughs> and then I should be able to come down here, and I can see it just like that. That's awesome. And we have a ton of storage. So what we might want to do is actually go up into the room where the chickens are and pump stuff from there down into here, maybe? Um, we might have to put a one of these. I, I made two of these, so we might have to put one on the top and then funnel stuff down uh, into there. We might just do that in blacklist. Blacklist the... Um, I'm going to take a screenshot real quick. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Mega chest. So yeah, I'll do that in between episodes, guys, and then uh, we'll get that um, all the crap up there, and then we can free up that floor for something special, because I am basically right here, where uh, was where the wall ends, uh, this wall here. Uh, you can actually, no, you actually can't see it. So we'll probably just run a cable, um, probably from here, uh, just run it down and change all these to export. Uh, and export everything except, like I said, for the uh, poop. And we'll have all this stuff go into that storage chest. Oh, big lag spike. Um, so, yeah, guys, this has been episode number six. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun. We got a big old chest down there. Big old chest. Chest of storage. And I'm about ready to die because I'm hungry. If you did like the video, guys, make sure you click that like button. Always hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Help the channel grow. Join the club. And uh, make sure you check everybody else on the Voxel Squad. They are recording as well, and the link is down in the description. So I'll see you next time, guys. It's been fun. Hope you learned something. Sorry it went so fast, but uh, it's been fun. I'll see you.